What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Langflow, a visual framework for building multi-agent and RAG applications. It's open source, Python powered, fully customizable, and model and vector store agnostic. It's an alternative to tools like Flowwise AI and Diffy AI, which we covered on this channel. We're going to show you how to install it, and let's dive right in. Okay, guys, so links for all the link, uh, everything will be in the description down below. Here is Langflow's GitHub. If you haven't heard of Langflow, um, you can check it out. You can check out their GitHub as well as I'll leave the docs and everything you really need to know. But um, this is Langflow, as you can see here, and it gives you some information on usage and how to use it, how to install it. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. You can also deploy on google cloud platform uh on railway on render kubernetes many different things right but um you can also just deploy it locally and uh yeah here that's pretty much it with the github here's kind of what their here's their website so the easiest way to create and share conversational ai discover a simpler way to build around foundational models all right so we can kind of see the ui they have a really nice ui i like the feel of it you can see prompt variables, dynamic input are introduced using curly brackets, fine tuning, harness the full power of LLMs by easily fine tuning them from spreadsheets. So this is really cool. Um, I'm actually very excited to use Langflow um, and yeah, build out more stuff in the next little bit. Group components, so higher level components naturally emerge from AI building block store and share your creations. Custom components go beyond the surface and code your own components. Not just the UI, not just the logic. Um, Langflow is dynamic. It's a dynamic graph where each node is ex uh, an executable node. It's modular and interactive design fosters rapid experimentation and prototyping, pushing hard on the limits of creativity. And it's Python based. So that's the really cool thing I like about this. It's Python based. Um, so yeah, it's Python. Python is the go to language for data scientists. By being Python native, Langflow leverages the most powerful data manipulation and machine learning libraries out there. So, yeah, um, that's one. That's like one of the main reasons I'm actually really excited about this, just because it's built on Python. And uh, yeah, so you can. I would like if you're going to be using this. I joined their Discord. You can join their Discord here. Check out the GitHub. Maybe check them out on X. They also did a blog post kind of announcing um, some of their new features here. They got Langflow 1.0, which is out. So they also have a cloud service. So you could sign up for the cloud service. Check that out. It's through uh, Data Stacks. So it's free to use and remains agnostic to any database, data source, or API. So you don't actually even need to like run it through the command line, pip install or Python install, lang. Uh, Langflow, whatever the case may be, um, you could actually just go sign up for data stacks and I'll leave a link down below to do that. So if you just want to do that, you can do that, test it out, whatever, or you can just run the command and um, yeah, I'll leave this blog post that they released in the description down below too. And yeah, just to quickly go over, um, you know, we've talked about Flowwise AI as well as Diffy AI. I've done videos on that. So if you want to check those tools out, check out some of my other videos on this, that, and they're very kind of similar, but they're different. Um, I'm not going to like do an in-depth comparison in this video and I'm still really seeing, um, how they are different. But, um, what I would say initially, if you're wondering, like, the, what, the thing that I really am excited for Langflow about, like I really just said, is it, it's built on Python and and uh, it it what they said on their website, it seems like that is the case where it is like one prompt variable is fine tuning group components and um, it's very modular to foster rapid experimentation and prototyping and dynamic where each node is ex uh, an executable unit. So I really like that. I'll, you'll kind of see a bit more of that once I ins once you see the uh, install of it and you see kind of how it works in the UI. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get right into it and install this thing. Um, but yeah, so it is somewhat of an alternative to these tools. I'm still going to use 
all of them or you know be using different ones until i really find either maybe i like one the best or maybe i'm just going to use all of them right so they they definitely do have their own strengths and, and whatnot but anyways before we get into it i'll leave links below down for this but you're going to need either uh you're going to need python installed to run these commands pip install all right so links for that will be in the description down below if we check out their docs right here for langflow you can see it they, they mentioned the data stacks option and light link for the docs will be down below too but uh all you really need to do to install this locally is run this command python dash m pip install langflow dash u so do this once you obviously have python installed or um you can run uh do it with pip x so there's that option too now pip uh, yeah so anyways run that commit so you go into your command line and you literally just run it and it will go ahead and start installing everything which i already did once you're done that it's actually very simple you just go python um no then from that point let me just see uh once you're done that so you run this right here and then you do python dash m langflow run all right once you do that um it will basically show right here saying that it is you can access it at port 7860 on your local host so let's go here and this is what the dashboard looks like all right so kind of similar to some of the other tools that like diffy or like similar ui um kind of like to diffy and then similar to um to Flowwise as well in some regards but um we'll quickly go over some of this so you can kind of create new projects here you can add folders here so you can organize your projects you can see either all flows components um so let's go ahead and create a new well, first off i'll just cover a few things so you can go into settings here and you'll see general you can change your store api key so don't have an api key set you need to go to lang flow here so let's go here i'm not going to add my api keys at the moment but um i believe if you connect it to lang flow api key then i think that allows you con to connect to other uh services as well um I'm not 100 percent sure but yeah we have global variables here google api key pinecone api key so you can add stuff here like that and uh, messages inspect edit and remove messages to explore and refine behaviors shortcuts you see shortcuts here keyboard shortcuts toggle on and uh dark mode and uh, light mode so of course we're going to use dark mode see your notifications up here so just to cover some of those basics and um yeah so once we're done now that we're kind of went over that there's my collection and store so in order for store to yeah you need the api key so let me just quickly okay so i actually just created a length length store account so you just can create one um and then you can go back over here and go to your settings and paste in your api key here okay then you save it and now if i go to store we can see um bun okay so this actually yeah pulls in the different uh different templates i believe from like the community or the store or whatnot you can see some of these chat olama rag based llm sql database open ai runner uh youtube transcriber so a lot of like there's over 506 uh 36 results so this is in beta right now let's go to collections here put a new project so you could either start by blank flow or you could select one of these templates just for you know the sake of this video we'll go to vector store rag just because everyone loves a good rag um and i'm going to be covering more about rags i've done videos on rags already i'm going to be doing more videos on rags graph rags um knowledge like all these different stuff so stay tuned for that if you're new to this channel we upload videos every day on ai automation business growth marketing sales etc so subscribe uh, to stay tuned you know up to date with new ai tools all this stuff uh, tutorials so and um yeah and so now that we're in the ui builder you can see um 
this is our rag and i'm not gonna go through each and every step uh exactly but uh and i'm not gonna connect everything obviously you have to add your api keys for open ai and you're using astra db depending on what database vector store you're using you're gonna have to set all that up with your credentials um for depending on yeah so like opening ai key goes here api key goes here you can select your embedding model astra database uh application token api endpoint then it's going to parse the data and up here is a chat input so chat input embedding all right embedding vectorize and then search input from the chat input parse data convert data into plain text following a specified template all right prompts create prompt template with dynamic variables generates text using open ai's llm and then chat with uh, output and then here is file to text splitter so we're chunking with a 200 chunk overlap and chunk size of a thousand and this is going into astro db vectorize and um well yeah uh same embedding right here so pretty basic rag right here um for vector store and let's see so just to go over some of the components we have inputs such as chat input text input output such as chat output text output prompts right here data uh, data so api request directory file url webhook input models we got ai ml api amazon bedrock anthropic azure open ai cohere uh google generative ai grok hugging face api all these other ones mistral nvidia olama um open ai Vort vertex let me just curious go here and you would put your base url um you can select your model right so yeah this is actually awesome <laughs> uh vertex ai uh helpers so chat memory go like this um so you can do external memory messages to x memory create list combine text custom component filter filter data id generator merge data parse data sequential tasks split text store messages vector store so we got different vector store options astra db uh, cassandra chroma db um you know all these different ones pinecone uh, uh qdrent uh, redis superbase i love superbase um they don't have zep which i do like zep as well um but yeah they do have like some of the you know popular ones superbase quad qdrent uh redis um, um mongodb atlas um chroma db and then embeddings so hugging face uh mistral olama uh open ai and then experimental so I was looking at this too this is kind of cool so we got agents wow oh this is awesome crew ai agent i'm gonna do more videos on that stuff too um crew ai csv agent um json agent sql agent astra assistant so create assistant dot n the uh environment get environment variable list eight assistance chains conversational chains loaders utilities so firecrawl api for scraping and whatnot firecrawl scrape api memory oh they do have zap memory perfect okay so they this is like really a good uh prototype so conditional router python function uh retrievers tech splitters toolkits and then tools here so a lot of stuff to play around with learn etc let's just say for example um i go here i click on this and you can i like this too is that you can see um like if i go here code i can literally see this code so from langchain open ai embeddings base import open ai embeddings from lang like i can see the python code right here but i literally go and run this and um yeah so it's like gives you the code for python but also the nice gui interface so that's what i really like about this tool 
Um, I don't, don't quote me on this. I don't know. I don't think Flowwise does any, some, I don't know. Don't, yeah, I like, I know that I don't think they do that. Like in this, like Flowwise or Diffy do that with uh, Python. I don't think they do that. So that's what I really like about uh, this tool. And, and, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to, and then like, let's see here. So advanced settings, default headers, default query, chunk size. So yeah, you can play with the settings here. There's a lot of different uh, customizations options, but anyways, um, I think you guys get the point here. Oh, there's also a playground. Okay. So this is where you would talk to it and then API. So this is where you can run curl command, Python API, JS API, Python code, chat widget, similar to Flowwise and Diffy and just anything in that regard. Um, and then share. Um, you can share the reg or the the workflow, the project with others. So other than that, guys, I, I'm very excited to start using this tool. Uh, I'm probably going to take this and put it into Coolify to self-host it. Um, I don't like doing running it the stuff locally too much. Um, just, yeah. But if you do want me to show you guys how to do that in Coolify, or that's what I've done many videos on Coolify. If you're not familiar with Coolify, check out some of those other videos. Uh, you can host this in like whatever you really want but uh yeah i'll probably um set this up in coolify and if you want me to make a video specifically on that showing you just giving you the code for that let me know in the comments down below other than that guys like i said if you're new here make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the daily uploads also too guys if you're new and you haven't already joined the stride community our free community of like-minded ai enthusiasts entrepreneurs developers coders um, marketers, salespeople, etc. Check that out. Link in the description down below. It's 100% free. Our free Facebook group, free Discord channel. We got about 750, 800 members in both those combined right now. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, check that out. Link in the description down below, guys. Other than that, um, if you have any questions about this video or any ideas or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. But I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.